Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back to the tutorial video. We will learn about the motor block. So we'll use the motor large block in this tutorial. And in the previous tutorial, we learned how we can configure the motor block and in the local mode and in the automatic mode to the face plate. So in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can configure the auto and manual uh, mode through the selector switch. So let's understand what is a motor block. So MOTL is a motor technology library block. The motor block is a pre-configured standard function and block used to control the motor within the PCS7 project environment. It's a part of APL library. So uh, for motor block, we have four different types of operating mode, local mode, automatic mode, manual mode, and out of service mode. In this particular tutorial, we will discuss automatic mode and manual mode. So what is a automatic mode? Automatic mode refer to the mode in which a control block such as MOTL block or motor large block operate the equipment such as motor or pump autonomously based on the predefined logic or the process condition without require manual intervention. Automatic mode is essential for continue processes where the operation need to follow the specific sequence or be adjusted dynamically based on the input signal interlocks and the process measurement. So how the pump is controlled in actually the in this tutorial video we will uh, see we have a one water treatment plant and in the water treatment plant the tank is filling water and the uh, through motor that motor is controlled with the different level of the tanks suppose if the, the motor will start when the water level fall at the 30 percent and once the uh, water level reach at 80 percent then the motor will become stopped so uh, the block is set uh, that will use the motor large block and this block is set automatic mode and the uh, start and stop command based on the process signal from the tank level sensors. So in our previous tutorial, we learned how we can control uh, the automatic mode and manual mode through the face plate. But in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can control the auto and manual mode with the selector switch. So why we require and the some time the uh, operator and our project requirement to control different equipment or different uh, motors and that auto manual uh, operation through the uh, control panel desk so it's look like this so how we can configure uh, uh, this uh, like the auto and manual uh, selection through the selector switch in the pcs 7 let's understand few of the configuration steps so we'll create a new project and after that we will add a channel driver then we'll add a motor large block and then we'll configure modlip option as a true then the motor auto mode uh, if we want to run motor in the auto mode then we'll connect our physical input with the auto mode uh, like the selector switch if we run to run in the manual mode then we'll turn on this uh, manual uh, mode m uh, manual mode l1 bit and similar manner if we want to start and stop uh, pump through manual push buttons like that through the physical push buttons so we can connect those physical push button with the start man and stop man 
So here the, is the flow chart. Like first we will enable this MOD LIP option will become true one. And after that we have to select either two of the option. Either we want to control motor through the in the manual mode or in the automatic mode. In the manual mode, we will uh, con we can control push button with the uh, through the push button start and stop push button. If we will select the auto mode, then we have to uh, put the auto mode uh, bit true, and after that, our motor will start with the uh, our uh, logic, whatever the uh, the uh, control logic we put it. So let's see practically how we can uh, configure the uh, auto and manual mode with the selector switch in the PCS7. So in our previous tutorial, we already uh, developed uh, this project. So we'll use the same project. So here the first uh, configuration, we have to modify this uh, auto manual input uh, command so we have to put it true so I will put it one so if this one is become true in that case we have only uh, motor control through the local selector switch in that case then the Facebook uh, face plate motor face plate don't have the control and after that then the next we require auto mode and the manual mode these two bit we have to put it true and after that, uh, if we want to start and stop uh, motor through the selector switches or the push buttons, so we have to add those pin inside the motor block. For that, just right click and click over the object property. Click over the IOs. And after that, go down. go down just find start manual this one and just you can see start command in the manual mode okay just click or uncheck this box for the uh, should be then in that case it will be visible in similar manner the, then the stop manual also here you can see the stop command in the manual mode and we will uncheck this also and play, oh, click over the OK. So now you can see we have the here two of the inputs. So before link uh, these uh, inputs, so we will come here in the hardware area and we will open the hardware configuration and we will add these uh, four. Uh, like four different signal in our hardware configuration. So right click over digital input module, click over the edit symbol and come here. First I will put like E01 auto mode, then E01 manual mode, then I will put E01 manual man, manual start push button uh, P01 manual top push button that's it click or ok and save and compile
and close it come back in the pump CFC chart now we will add it here or you, you can either add it here or you can add in the next sheet also here we have the space so I will add it here come in the PC7 APL library then the channel then here we'll select the digital input module and I will copy it and then paste it we require four so I will again copy it and then paste it and again I will copy and paste okay perfect now the first input right click and input connection to address first is my auto mode select ok then second input is my manual mode press ok then third input is the start push button manual start push button then fourth is manual stop push button okay now I will connect first the auto mode uh, just click over the P out then come here in the first sheet and then click here in the auto mode and then similar manner go back there and then select the your uh, manual mode uh, channel, uh, channel driver select the PV, P out click over the P out and then come back and then click over in the manual mode so here you can see it's giving us the full detail from where it's coming if you click it over here double click over here so it will show from where this uh, command is coming okay so let's configure the this this channel and this channel is um, you click you can see the manual start so manual start click over the p out and come here and the manual start and similar manual manner the manual stop also we link it So we configure auto manual and manual start and manual stop and the auto already we configure in the our previous tutorial here you can see here the comparison blocks is there okay so that's it now we will just compile and download this in the controller. yes only changes yes because in the previous project we already will complete compile the project
so our project successfully downloaded so I will open the pump face plate so as you can see here now the mode is disabled because we configure uh, we want to select the mode auto manual mode through the selector switch so as you can see it's disabled now for example if I will turn on for example the first input is uh, like uh, auto mode if I press the uh, click over the auto and the my auto mode will on so as you can see once the input came from the field so now now my auto mode is on now it will uh, the pump will run as per uh, tank level suppose if the tank level goes over the high level so let me remove the simulation then the tank will control as per the field signal oh, simulation is off now so now the level will change as per the field so you can see level is changes change so you can see pump is stopped now if the water level goes down so as you can see the my motor is start so it means the auto operation is working perfectly okay so now I will remove this auto mode as you can see my all operation is bumpless it's not went in stop mode so now I will turn on the manual mode so when I click here as you can see the mode is changed in the manual mode so now if I want to stop the pump that the I 0.3 is my stop bit so as you can see it receives the stop command and now I can through the field push button I can start and stop the pump So Alhamdulillah we learn in this tutorial video how we can configure auto and manual mode motor block with the selector switch. So if you want to use a selector switch in your project so how you can configure it. So thanks for watching this video.